Hello, bonjour, ciao, hola, ni hao, good day. Hello and welcome to My Life in Video Games update where I'm going to be talking about various accessories for different games consoles, mainly camera cameras this time, but first of all I'm going to start with the official PlayStation 2 remote control. This allows you to operate the DVD and CD menu of the PlayStation 2, but a really neat feature is it has the PlayStation 2 control for buttons, so in a game you can actually use this remote control as a controller, though you may find it a bit difficult to operate games with it, but there you go, nice little extra feature. Of course don't forget the slimline version of the PlayStation 2 has a built-in infrared receiver, so you can use the remote control straight away. Now on to cameras. Of course cameras were something you didn't really see on game consoles once upon a time but they're, they're quite common and one of the first uh, cameras was produced by Sony for the PlayStation 2 and that's the PlayStation 2 iToy as you can see here. The iToy was used with various games and other software to allow people to interact with games in different ways so they acted well people were like the controller. Where have I heard that before? <laughs> um, the PlayStation 2 iToy is possible to also get it to work on a PC running XP, but not on Vista, because Vista don't like iToy, does it, Microsoft? Oh, well, I'm sure some person has managed to get working on Vista, but there you go. <laughs> Sony later produced a slimline version of the iToy, which I have here, and a slightly different colour. So you can see they're quite bit difference in uh, size. Hmm. Um, so after the iToy came the successor which was the PlayStation i. Do you see a pattern here? iToy i. What's the next one going to be called? PlayStation? Just PlayStation? Um, in Europe the PlayStation i was packaged with the Eye of Judgment. The Eye of Judgment was a sort of Pokemon style game. Basically you use the PlayStation Eye, which I'll show you in a moment to set up with the stand. You'd put uh, cards out which had like monsters on in front of the camera. The camera would then pick up the cards and produce the monsters and the monsters would then fight each other. Very similar to Pokemon. Funny that, yes. Uh, just to show you what you've got in the package. You've got the PlayStation Eye, so this is what the PlayStation 3 camera looks like. It's got a built-in microphone array so it can pick up sounds better. So if you compare that with the original one, hmm, quite different. I think that one looks a lot better. And is a lot more clever as well. Uh, so yeah, you would set up on a, on a stand, there's all bits and pieces here, take you about a lifetime to put it together. Uh, and then you had the cards with all the monsters on them there, which the camera would pick up and then say, oh I know what monster that is, and it would produce it in virtual reality. And there's the game itself. It says, PlayStation I required. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's the Eye of Judgment. Uh, yes, last camera I'm going to talk about is the Xbox 360 Live Vision camera. Why they couldn't have just called it the Xbox 360 camera, I don't know, but there you go. This camera unfortunately doesn't have a built-in microphone, which is a bit of a shame really, but it's a very good camera. Yes, you're very good, aren't you? Yeah. Because on the Xbox 360, the camera can be used for doing voice chatting. It's also used by certain games. But this little camera here can also be used on a PC, run XP, or later, on a Mac computer, and of all ironies, on a PlayStation 3 as well. I've tested it myself, and it does indeed work on a PlayStation 3, but you'll need update 1.54 or later, I do believe. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. If you have any ideas, comments, suggestions, questions, or anything like that you'd like to ask, just please let me know. And that's bye for now.